Mm. All right. Everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to do a short little episode on showing how to get things set up with your proxies here and getting ready to do assistant editing and editing. Uh, first of all, one thing that I, I want to address here is as I play through this footage here, uh, this footage looks very kind of grayish and very flat. That's because this footage is recorded with cameras. A lot of professional cameras, when they're recording, they will oftentimes record in what's called a log LUT. A LUT is basically a look. A look it literally stands for lookup table. If we look at this on a scope here, if we go to workspaces, we're going to go to color and look at this on a waveform monitor, go to our elementary scopes and look at this as a as a waveform monitor. This is very grayish looking footage. All your all your highlights and all your gray and all your darks are kind of squished are kind of squished together in this band right here, which basically means there's not much contrast. Contrast is where you redefine the highlights as white and redefine the darks as dark. That will give you contrast. Just a quick little show of that. Let's go to our curves here. I am going to get the color grading, so I will reshow all the stuff that I'm talking about but in more detail. I'm going to grab my darks. I'm going to darken them up here. I'm going to grab my highlights. I'm going to brighten them up here like this. And you'll notice that we're starting to get more of a contrasty look here. As we, as we spread those things further apart here. So as we turn this on and so if I turn this on and off here, you're going to see the before and after that, that's giving more contrast. Let's go to the contrast slider, kind of show you the same thing. We're going to slide more contrast into this, bring up the exposure a little bit and add a little bit more contrast. And we're going to darken the darks and we're going to brighten the highlights here. And we, we're starting to get more of a contrasty image. So there we go. And what and what something is shot in log where the, the the highlights and the arcs are pushed closer to each other. Like I said, it ha it preserves details, and you can decide where you want to bring those details back in post production. So I'm going to clear this completely here. And there was our, and when we shot this, we actually were shooting. We were using what was called a display LUT. So when we looked at it, at the screen, we were not looking at this. It was recording in log like this, but it was actually added a look to it, so it looked like it was finished, kind of a color grading look to it. Uh, so when we were looking at our monitors on the cameras when we were shooting, we could see it, what it was going to be looking like, but when it was actually recording this, but displaying a lot while we were recording. So what I'm going to do here is right now under Windows Workspaces, I'm going to be under the color mode. And actually, let's go back to assembly mode. I kind of want to stay in this window right here, but I'm going to go up to window and we're going to add our Lumetri color panel. We're going to tell this before that this footage even touches the timeline. We're going to tell it that we want to add a look to it. And this is really nice. This is a really nice feature they added in Premiere Pro probably just like over a year ago, uh, where you can go into the settings of the Lumetri color panel and you can tell it to display an input LUT, which means it is basically adding that LUT before it, that look before it hits the timeline. And this can just, and later on when we're doing color grading, we can just simply turn this off. It's really, it's a really, really nice feature. So once again, Lumetri color panel, we're going to go under, not from, from the edit page, we're going to go under settings here, the base settings. And we're going to go down to input let right here. I'm going to pull this down, and there's one that's already been added here that I, I was that I've already added to this. Once you add these, they stay added to your input LUTs. But I'm going to tell it to browse and show you where I've got this. I've got this saved on my hush little baby folder, and there's this red LUT. We just actually exported this out of the red camera as a look here. So that's the LUT that we're using right there. That's the LUT that was displaying while we were recording. But we're going to add it as an input LUT so we can kind of see, so we're not looking at this gray footage. So I'm going to select that and hit open. And I'll add that LUT to all the footage that I have selected over here. You do have to select all your footage. You do have to, let's do that again. You do have to select all your footage that you're adding the LUT to. Go over to input LUT. And, we're going to, and now that's been added there. I'm going to select that and it will add that LUT to everything. Now it looks the way it should look. It's been kind of saturated. It looks, it looks a little bluish like it's moonlight and it looks very contrasty. And all my footage now looks like that, has that LUT look added to it. And if not, it looks very grayish. So we're going to keep that LUT added there just so we can edit it. Then we'll remove it when we do the color grade in the, in the very end. That's it for episode two in this series. In episode three, we're going to be showing you guys how to do sync and merging with your sync sound uh, to your video. Then we'll show you how to merge those and basically rename them and put them into your project window as synced and merged files.